with the first question on the mic on my left hello yeah uh, yeah, Dr. Naik, uh, first let me just say I'm really honored to be standing in front of you. I've watched your programs on Peace TV a lot and I really think you're great. Can we have so, your name? Yeah, Please. my name is Mahesh Ursekar and I am a PhD student in the Department of Philosophy of Mumbai University. Uh, my question is a little technical. Uh, I would like to know what the concept of soul is in Islam. As you know, in a lot of Indian philosophy, soul and mind are uh, uh, taken as different, whereas in Western philosophy, soul and mind is considered as the same. So uh, my first question is, what is the concept of soul in uh, uh, Islam? And the second question is, what is the relationship of the soul to the body? So that after death, uh, you know, does the soul leave the body and, uh, you know, uh, uh, things like that. So there is a two-part question, what is the concept of the soul and how is it related to the body and what happens to it after death? Thank you. But the Mahesh has asked the question that what is the concept of soul in Islam and what is the relationship of the soul and the human body and what will happen to the soul after death? That's the basic question. That's good. Uh, as far as the soul is concerned, the soul is the essence of the human body. The main importance as compared to the other creations of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, creation of Almighty God, the major difference in the human being, it is the soul. And it is the essence which will remain even after a person dies, which I'll discuss later on. As far as science is concerned, science does not speak about soul. Science hasn't reached that level where it can decipher what is the exact essence of the soul. But there have been researches done that when any living creature dies, for example, animal when he dies, as compared to a human being, when an animal dies, immediately after when he dies, there's no difference in the weight. But when we analyze the weight of a human being, the moment he dies and he seizes life, immediately there's loss of weight. That means there is something that the human being is losing the moment he dies. But science hasn't reached that level so far to decipher what exactly soul. Soul is the essence of the human being. And the Quran says in Surah Al-Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 185, Allah says, Kullu maut. Every soul shall have a taste of death. In this world, this life is the test for the hereafter. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Mulk, chapter number 67, verse number 2, Allazi khalaqal mawta wal hayata That Allah has created death and life to test which of you is good in deeds. So this life is a test for the hereafter. And every soul shall have a taste of death. When once a person dies, his soul is not there. But on the day of judgment, when he'll be resurrected, then depending upon the good deeds and the bad deeds he has done. Almighty God, on the Day of Judgment, He is Malik Ramadin, He is the Master of the Day of Judgment. Depending upon how you have paid the test in this world, depending on that, then your result will be whether you go to paradise or hell. So the soul is that lives. Soul doesn't die. It only has a taste of death when a person body dies. So the relationship with the body and soul put together, you have the human being here. But in the year after, there will be absolutely a new body given and the soul will survive and then depending upon how he has fed the test, he will go to heaven or hell. Hope that answers the question.